Hello my friends, and welcome back to another live programming video. I think today is not going to be a particularly long video, but then again, I always say that. Uh, there was somebody in the Discord earlier asking if it would be possible to stop WHKD when the Komo Rebi stop command is run. I think this is pretty feasible, uh, pretty simple to do. So we're going to go ahead and check that out today. Um, once again, I am lost because I've set my DPI to 150 so that all of you can see. Uh, let's clear out some of these extra panels. So the command that we are interested in is the stop command. And so right now, the stop command does not take any arguments. You can see here, we have the start command. The start command takes these arguments, uh, focus follows mouse, config, await configuration, TCP port, and WHKD. So I think in order not to break the existing functionality where WHKD remains running, we should also require a WHKD flag, which is going to be an optional. Actually, no, since it's a bool, we can just have a default to false which is what I believe uh, the default is with clap. So stop WHKD if it is running as a background process. So we'll go here. We'll add in a new stop struct. Uh, yeah. That looks good. So we need to actually, you know what? I should turn those sounds off. There we go. Uh, so here, actually let's run, um, let's run bacon here on the side. So we have this error coming up now. So we, um, we made this enum variant have the stop struct. Um, so we're trying to match here against an enum variant that doesn't have uh, any data, but actually it has an arg now. So we're going to put that in. So the arg is the stop struct, which only has one member. So if arg dot whkd, then we're gonna um, stop the whkd process if it exists. Uh, and then we're gonna send the stop message, right? So um, how do we do that? Very good question should have thought about this. So there is a library that I'm using for processes somewhere. I think. Oh, or maybe I'm not. Maybe I just imagined it. Um, you know what, I guess we can do it the lazy way for now. Um, we can basically do what we're doing here. But we will, all right, let's, let's validate how this works actually. So if I do stop process name WHKD, if I do it again, um, if I do this with error action silently continue, yeah, that's what I want. Um, all right, cool. So 
Well, I don't have, I can just run it here, I guess. Nice. All right. I'll leave that running in the foreground for now. So what we're going to do is stop process name WHKD with start stop. No, stop process. Stop process. Uh, that's a script. Right? Yeah, that's a script. Uh, well, yeah, window style hidden and also error action silently continue. And if there is an error, uh, which I don't think there will be because we're doing silently continue, but okay, I, th I think that should do the trick. I think we will see. Um, right, let's kill this. That's still looking good. Make sure this is stopped. Cool. So let's uh, install. Once the Komorebi C binary is installed, we should be able to validate um, one, that it's possible to pass the arg, and two, the WHKD is only shut down when the, well, not the arg, when the, when the flag is passed. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to RBC stop help. So if I just run stop, it's working. Uh, so let's do start. Yeah. All right. So we have WHKD working. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, and next, we want to, all right, so I'm going to, I'm going to kill WHKD here. Uh, I'll bring it up here. So it's in the foreground. Uh, yeah, that's working. So I'll do comma RBC stop. And this should be equivalent to WHKD equals false. So now, okay, WHKD is still running, which is the existing behavior. And we can validate that by seeing the output when WHKD is in the foreground. So cancel out of that. And let's start Komorebi and WHKD again. I guess we'll kill <laughs> WHKD again just to bring it up in the foreground. And it is once again up in the foreground. And this time we will run Komorebi stop with this argument. Ooh. Okay. So stop process does not take the window style argument. Uh, okay, okay. Common Ruby has stopped, so we can just install this and try again.
Hopefully you can't hear it, but my computer fans are running pretty loud right now. Oh, it's definitely, definitely time to upgrade. Time to start saving. All right. So we're running again. And we're up. Uh, we still have the same foregrounded instance of WHKD running. And we're going to try this again. Okay, Como Rebbe has stopped, as has the WHKD process here. It has been killed. Uh, that is that is what we want, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just run a quick thumped on this. Uh, let's see if there are any new clippy things to apply. Always new clippy things. Cool. That was that was actually nice and easy for once. Eleven minutes. Nice. So uh, let's craft a commit message. Always seems to be the hardest part of any new feature. Um, what should I call this? Uh, Beat CLI, I guess. Um, Shoe stuff. Add op to stop WHKD with or alongside window manager. This commit adds a, uh, a WHKD flag to ah, flag to the Commodore VC stop command. Hmm. which will also stop any running instance of WHKD when stopping the window manager. This flag defaults to false and should not impact, um, it should not change change the existing behavior the users are used to no breaking changes the person did not open an issue to the best of my knowledge let's have a look uh, no there is no issue for that uh, let's just make it pretty Go. And we can push that. And I will report that back to the user on, on Discord. All right, so before we wrap up, I want to give a shout out to, where are they? The sponsors of this project. A big thank you to Betchy, Maxwell, Brady, Solomon, Alex, Julian, and Hisayuki. I appreciate your support very, very much. And it always makes me very happy to come and read your names and at least give you that little bit of thanks uh, whenever I make these videos. If you would like to also become a sponsor, you can come and click, I'm just going to zoom in so you don't miss it, right here. Click on this sponsor button. And you know what? It doesn't really matter how much you are able to sponsor, even a dollar a month. To me, it makes a huge difference, and I greatly, 
greatly appreciate it. If you are not in a position to become a sponsor, then the next best thing that you can do is subscribe to the YouTube channel where you are probably watching this video. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of Komorebi related tutorial videos are among the most popular videos. Um, there's a whole bunch of tutorials. And of course we have this live programming playlist, which this video will be a part of when it is uploaded. All right, I think that is it for today. I tried to keep it short, 50 minutes is pretty short. Uh, I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day, and I hope to see you all back here next time. Goodbye for now.